there, it's Hillary, and welcome back for another Creative Faith video. Today, we are unboxing the newest Creative Faith Devotion Kit, Devotion Book, and I'm thrilled. Autumn is here, and I cannot wait to spend time with you, spend time with the Lord, and this theme is all about being full of gratitude, and it has an apple cider theme, so kind of the phrase that I have been mulling over and thinking about is sipping on apple cider and spending time with your heavenly father. So that is my goal for this kit and for you and for me this autumn season. And this devotion book is all about people in the Bible who were full of gratitude and praise and thankfulness. So really excited to dive into that content and those Bible stories. And I think it's just going to be really enriching. So in this video, I'm going to unbox what comes in the kit and I'm also going to show the coordinating printable as well too so I'll do a little flip through of that and then yeah so I wanted to let you know that there will be links in the description box below to pick up this kit in my Etsy shop you can also just get the devotion book on Amazon, so that's really good, especially if you don't live in the United States, um, because if you, if you, where you live gets Amazon products, they should have an Amazon printing facility to print the devotion book. So I'll have a link to that, as well as a link to the coordinating printable, and a whole blog post roundup with all of my fall printables and products and some of my favorite fall videos. So definitely go check out that blog post. I have everything organized, and you can really easily see new fall printables for this year and past ones and find links to all those different things. So let's go through what comes in this kit. It is chock full and I just love how cute this pouch is. So it is this orange plastic pouch that is see-through and I'm really excited. This pouch is going to just be perfect for putting all of your Bible study, all of your devotion things. You could use it for pens, you could use it for washi tape, you could use it for a little bit of everything. And my goal with Creative Faith Kits is to give you everything you need to get started except for a pair of scissors. <laughs> so just grab a pair of scissors and you are ready to go with all of these great things. Your Bible too would be a good thing to have as well. So let's break it up, break it down and I'll show you what comes in the kit. So first thing is this vinyl sticker. It's the same artwork that's on the cover. It also is a part of the printable too. And that is this little vinyl sticker and it would be really cute to put on your pouch if you wanted. You could add it to the cover of a traveler's notebook if you want. That would be another cute place for it or even like a little Bible, uh, a little Bible. Last year I put a fall sticker on the front of my little Psalms Bible. So you get a vinyl sticker, really great. Um, you get an Apple pen. So I thought this was really fun. So it's this little pen that is in the shape of an apple to go along with the whole apple cider theme. So you get a pen to do all your journaling with. I really love how the paperclip bookmarks turned out. Found this beautiful fabric with these fall flowers on it. So you'll get one of these in either gold or rose gold for the for the paperclip. And that will be really cute sticking out of your devotion book as like a little bookmark. And then you get a washi tag with two washi tapes. The top one will be some sort of fall floral, and then the bottom one will be black or black or white. So I thought those were really nice color schemes to use with your journals. And I love using washi tape on the tops and bottoms of my pages. I love using it for adding journaling cards and things like that. So get a little washi tag and when you use up this washi tape you can totally add more washi tape to it. I really really love using washi tape tag or using tags to wrap washi tape. All right you'll get a four by six journaling card and it won't necessarily be this design um, but 
it will be some sort of the pack was called like cottage core so there's like some flowers some insects some butterflies things like that um, so you'll get a journaling card. You could use this as a bookmark. You could use it to as a tip in and use it to write a Bible verse on the back or scripture, prayer, uh, notes, things like that. All right, next up, you get a pack of apple cinnamon tea. Now, the whole theme is apple cider. I've got my apple cider here. <laughs> but... I am trying to be a little more conscientious of what I put in kits and I don't think those little apple cider packs are super super healthy. I do think like if you got some organic unfiltered apple cider from the store or made your own. I kind of want to try making my own this year and that is probably super healthy but I don't think those little apple cider packs are probably the best thing and so I thought this would be something fun to try an apple cinnamon tea so that is your little apple cider that you can have while you work on the devotion book get a glue stick so this will be great for adding in ephemera and journaling bits and pieces of the printable and you get a bookmark with Psalm 103. And I love this verse. This is the NLT translation. And it says, Let all that I am praise the Lord with my whole heart. I will praise his holy name. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things he does for me. He fills my life with good things. So I thought that was a really great key verse to think about and meditate on as you go through this. So again, you could use it as a tip in, you could use washi tape on the top or the side, you could glue it down, you could use it as a bookmark. Then you get three pages of the coordinating printable and I printed them on white sticker paper. So you can cut them out and put them down in here and they're little small mini versions of some of the elements. And I really love how all these turned out. How cute is this? It says Create a Faith Candle Co. It's the apple cider scent. It's a non-toxic candle because it's paper. <laughs> I thought that was really cute. This little cup with a little apple slice floating in it. A fall journal where you can write some little mini micro Bible study notes about what God's teaching you. I really love how this little pot turned out with the cinnamon sticks and star anise I think is what that's called and a little apple cider mug anyways really love how these turned out and if you purchase the physical kit in my Etsy shop and email me your Etsy order number I will send you the coordinating printable file and then these are some of the well all of the 10 main scriptures that go along with the book and then like I said you get this really cool pouch I am really excited about this. A few years ago, I had the peach version of this pouch as one of the kit pouches that I put. Um, I think it was my pumpkin spice and time with Jesus Christ devotion kit in, but I didn't order enough for me to have one. But this time I made sure to order enough <laughs> for me to have one too, because I'm very excited about it. So now let's do a little flip through of what the devotion book looks like inside. It's a traveler's notebook size. So you can add it to any of your standard traveler's notebooks. So this was my fall traveler's notebook setup from last year. Um, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a traveler's notebook setup for fall for this year, but it will just fit right in there. So if you're a traveler's notebook girl like I am, that is wonderful. <laughs> So on the inside, it has that cover artwork in a black and white version, so you could color it. Spot for your name, and the date started, and the date ended. Then there's a message from me to you, and then also some instructions on how to use this book. So I love to make my kits as accessible as possible, especially if people have maybe never studied the Bible before, never tried Bible journaling in a creative notebook. There's a spot for you to write a prayer as you begin, a spot for a table of contents so you can mark off the devotions as you work through them. So that is really nice to kind of see that progress. And then there's a few fun bonuses in the back. 
And then here is an overview page. So let me show you what I did in my Adventure Weights book on this spread. So in my Adventure Weights book, I also used, had a similar spread. And so I like to outline here and I added washi tape to the top and bottom. And I was using this to write God is based off of the devotion that I read and the verses that I read. So that's kind of a fun idea for how to use this because it's always a great, um, a great thing to think about what did this verse, this story, this devotion teach me about God or Jesus or the Holy Spirit. So I wanted to give you that idea there. And then the devotions are um, normally one or two pages. And then there are going deeper questions for each of the devotions. And some of them are more reflection questions and some of them are art prompts. Like this one says, draw a picture of several music notes in the larger part of the music note, write something amazing God has done for you and reflect on his goodness. So I tried to give you some ideas on how to get started creatively too. And then between each of the devotions is some dot grid pages for additional prayers, scripture writing, notes. And it goes through 10 different stories, 10 different people who are full of gratitude. And it starts in the Old Testament and ends in the New Testament. So it just goes in chronological order in the Bible. So it'll be really fun to study these different people and what they have to teach us about being thankful and grateful and full of praise for the Lord. In the back of this, I did something totally different that I've never done before, and I really love how it turned out. So there are 10 devotions and there are 10 prayer pages in the back of your journal and so I thought that way you could use this to write a prayer before you read or in study or after and so there's one of these for each of the devotions so I thought that was kind of a fun addition to this and then I have a caramel apple spiced cider in recipe in here, including my homemade whipping cream that I really love making. It tastes so good. And then a spot for you to make an autumn bucket list. So that is the devotion book and what it looks like. So now let's dive into the printable. And so on here you have various different cute fall mugs. I love the little gratitude journals as well too. Those are really fun. I have this little fall window here with your creative faith candle on the windowsill. I thought that turned out really cute and that matches one of the art prompts for the devotion. And again, I just love the little pot of apple cider simmering there. And a few more fall journals. And I love this little icon that I made, apple cider and time with my heavenly father. And then here are all those different key verses. Comes with various pattern papers. So these are really fun. You could use this to make a pocket. You could use these to rip on the corners of your pages. You could use them as a washi strip. So lots of really great ways to use pattern papers. So cute little fall floral and then a few plaid pieces. And then last but not least, I love this one. I was going to label these. I was going to label that one to say my prayer, but then I thought, you know, people might want to use it for Bible study notes or something else. So I ended up not adding any titles to these. So you can really do with them what you want. Again, you could write a prayer, a verse, and here's that bookmark that I read earlier with the key verse from the kit. So that is everything that comes in the full of gratitude devotion book kit. I am excited to get these in your hands, to ship them out, and autumn is just my favorite season ever. <laughs> so it's going to be really nice to spend some Bible study time together this fall. Um, be sure if you are a part of the Creative Faith email newsletter family, I sent out an exclusive discount code. So 
make sure you use that if you're a part of the email newsletter family. I will send it out again on, let's see, I think I'll send it again Monday or Tuesday. So if you want to join the Creative Faith email newsletter family and get a discount code, I'll have the, the link for that in the description box below too. So here's the new kit. Comment below if you're excited. Be sure to pick one up soon. Typically the Creative Faith fall kits and Christmas kits sell out pretty quickly. So if you are wanting to get one, I would definitely do so soon and just excited again to spend time with you this autumn. So be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment below if you're excited and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any creative faith videos. I'll be doing a process, lots of different process videos in here and in my Bible. So it will be a very special fall season and I will see you in the next creative faith video. Bye, friend.